A recent Scripps News investigation that discovered an increasing number of guns are being found on school campuses around the country is now getting attention in Congress. Lori Jane Gleha has more on how there's now more discussion about school security. Because as I watched your report, I have to tell you, I think most of my colleagues would be stunned at the fact that not only has there been a steady increase year over year, but you had over 400 instances that your series documented. Democrat Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz is one legislator with whom our recent Scripps News investigation struck a chord. Do me a favor, keep your hands out of your pockets for me. What we found in our analysis of data collected by the Gun Violence Archive. What is that? shows across the country children younger than 18 are increasingly being found with guns at schools. Our investigation uncovered more than 400 cases during the first half of this school year. That's compared to 338 during the same period last school year and at least 217 in 2019, the year preceding the pandemic. Your report really shined a spotlight on the fact that Guns in schools are really not just random, one-off, occasional incidents. Wasserman Schultz plans to reintroduce legislation that failed to advance in the past. It would push for a more comprehensive way of collecting school shooting data, examining what motivated the shooter, and looking more closely at security and prevention measures. More than 300 U.S. communities reported gun incidents involving children during the first half of this school year. Hands off! Our investigation found Nashville, Tennessee, Columbus, Ohio, New York City, and Baltimore, Maryland at the top of the list. All right, a beep, go back. We went to Baltimore's Mergenthaler Vocational Technical High School to try to understand what schools are doing to stay safe. Go back. Here, metal detectors are part of the daily routine. Wake up, Mustangs, wake up. We spent part of the day with Principal Trisha Lawrence. What I do at times is I patrol the alley. Wow. Just to make sure that they are safe. Three guns made it inside her building this school year already. And this past September, a teen from another high school shot and killed one of her 17-year-old students in the school parking lot. To help students feel more secure, the district is testing a pilot security program that would upgrade these metal detectors at this school to a more sophisticated technology, one that can distinguish everyday metals like jewelry and laptops from weapons. While school leaders trust that technology like this will serve as a deterrent, some researchers say schools with too much physical security might be creating other troubling consequences for kids. We'll keep it like this and Dr. Otis Johnson Jr. leads the Center for Safe and Healthy Schools at Johns Hopkins University. Is a metal detector a good solution? Is a clear backpack something that might be important? We see, I guess, good and bad uh, uh, outcomes related to the use of those uh, technologies. Within Johnson's research examines what he calls heavily fortified schools, those with at least eight simultaneous security surveillance measures like metal detectors, clear backpacks, or sniffing dogs. He found these schools are linked to students with lower math scores, an increase in discipline, and fewer kids going to college when compared to schools with fewer surveillance measures. At what point in a school security plan does it become excessive? Some of these features are absolutely necessary. I just don't think we know within research and policy implementation what that, that threshold is. Hola, good morning. You look like you worked two jobs last night, brother man. What Principal Lawrence <laughs> understands that balance. She says her staff is building strong relationships with students, many of whom now feel safe reporting when they see another kid with a weapon. But she believes metal detectors are still a necessity and hopes the new technology will be more efficient in getting her kids to class on time. When you come into a school, you're coming to learn. You're not coming to go through a whole security screening. For lawmakers like Wasserman Schultz, the question of how much physical security is too much is one more reason to gather more nationwide data. We have to make sure that we can comprehensively attack the problem so that we make it less likely for it to happen. Lori Jane Gleha, Scripps News, Baltimore.